just playing with this lighting in here. Yo, what's up? Um, I'm going to link up with YC here in just a few minutes. We're going to create some content for some type of deal he has going on, but I'm going to help him make some content. Last week, I uh, made a video about how to vlog and like styles and ways that you can vlog and why you should be vlogging, you and me both. But this week, I wanted to make a video about uh, the best tools that you can use to make vlogs with, whether it be cameras, mics, or little grips to keep your uh, camera on so you can set it down and get shots, whatever. So we're gonna talk about some of the best gear that you can use to make vlogs, but let me go meet up with YC and I'll talk to you then. But wait, before we leave, obviously the camera is the most important part of vlogging. Um, you wanna have a camera that has a screen. As you can see here, I have my 1DX Mark II hooked up to the screen so I could see myself getting the shot right here. That's kinda important for vlogging. You don't necessarily need it, but it's kind of important but we'll talk about that when we meet YC. Alright so we just got here with YC we're about to start shooting some of this content but the first thing the first best piece of gear is a camera that has a screen that swivels or flips up whatever where you can see yourself talking. Right now I'm using the Canon 1DX Mark II and I don't have a screen and it makes it a little bit more difficult a little less convenient but I'm still here doing it. You don't necessarily have to have a screen but having a screen is very very helpful so a camera with a screen. I'm actually going to list a couple different uh, uh, setups with cameras with screens etc that you can vlog with down below the whole package with everything that I talk about in this video down below so you can go check them out ones that I recommend too because there's a ton of different options whether you're using Sony or Fuji there's a bunch of different options but I typically use Canon I think that Canon cameras are really good with color really fast with autofocus and just the easiest to use when it comes to making a vlog so for vlogging a camera with a screen that you can see yourself is very ideal uh, let me show you why I see setup yeah what setup yeah. are you using? Are you vlogging? Kinda. Trying to vlog. I'm using the R6, the Canon. Got the 16-35 f2.8 version 3. Nice. I got the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. Stole this cord from a video uh, micro from Rode. <laughs> yeah, you got a you got a custom setup yeah, right here. Yeah, I got to. This I like this I like this wire a lot more than the other one. And then I just came up with this right here. Don't try to steal my swag. This is my tripod for my gimbal. I took the ball head. Ball head, ball head. I took the ball head off of my Gorilla Pod because my Gorilla Pod legs is broke. And this is like the sturdiest setup I feel like I've ever had at this point. It's dope. You like having your screen? I love having my screen. This is like the best. I can't vlog without this. I can see what's going on. I get my framing right, my exposure. Makes it easier, huh? Stuff. Absolutely. So speaking of his setup, that R6, I just ordered mine today. Uh, I, I ordered it from B&H a few weeks ago, and um, it still hasn't shipped. So today I looked on Best Buy, and they said they could get it to me by Monday, and it's Friday today. And I'm like, wow. So I ordered it from Best Buy, and I'm canceling my order from B&H because the R6 is just ideal for vlogging. This one, I've done a lot of vlogs with this camera, and it doesn't have a swivel screen on it, but that's because of the quality, and that's another topic for another day. If you are going to shoot with a camera that doesn't have a swivel screen, make sure that you have good auto focus and set it to the center and aim your camera dead down the center when you're talking to it or if you have track and autofocus make sure that you got it set to track your face or your eye most cameras these days are really really good with that especially Canon but yeah a camera with a swivel screen if not make sure your autofocus is good I recommend Canon cameras but let's talk about the next thing uh, next best piece of gear you need oh yeah you also could vlog on your iPhone if you want the newer iPhones they're great and they have ways to hook up microphones to them and little rigs and you can rig up an iPhone if you want to vlog with that too. But we're talking about lenses now. Let's talk about lenses. What kind of lens would you need if you're vlogging? Something that's wide and that you can zoom in on would be ideal for a vlogger. If you're just doing simple vlogging just like this, holding the camera to your face and vlogging, then you want something wide. I have a 17 millimeter to 40 millimeter on here right now. It's lightweight. It is an F4. It's not the best lens, but it's the most convenient for the camera that I'm using and it's wide and I can zoom in if I want to get some B-roll or something closer. But having a wide angle lens is very important for vlogging. It's one of the best pieces of gear that you can have with your camera. Straight up. All right, so we're here at the second location. Um, it said on a couple different signs there was no photo and video allowed, but we're still gonna shoot our shot. Um, about to take some pictures over here on this little wall. Let me show you. It's like a bunch of file cabinets stacked up with some greenery, some big, huge, leafy plants all around it. Really cool. It looks dope. Uh, I want to take some photos out here. There's a lot of like leaves and ivy and just mad leafy plants that I want to take some pictures on um, close-ups and with the rain on it because it is raining right now. <laughs> Oh, it's over. Is it not over yet? Who that? I can't hear it. 
<laughs> Are we good? All right, so a camera with a swivel screen, but if not, whatever, any type of camera, wide angle lens, and three mics. Microphone is really important for vlogging, and the best ones are ones that are lightweight and really convenient. Um, right now, I'm using the Rode Video Micro because it's really small, plugs right into the camera, um, it's convenient, it has good audio, and you don't need any batteries for it. It just works. You plug it in, and it works. Uh, the one that YC was using, um, you have to charge it up, but it's really, really good. It has like a really powerful studio compressed or condensed uh, sound to it it works really good and it's not too big it's not too small either it's not the most convenient I think this one is the most convenient but it's all depends on what quality you want if you want a little bit better sound you want to go with a little bit bigger one if you want to go with a decent sound much better than out of camera but smaller and convenient portable then the micro is really good like I said though I'll leave links down below to the microphones that I use or recommend for vlogging that's one of those piece of gears that you need for vlogging oh it's like vlogception right here. How's this? Um, you like this location? This location is dope, y'all. I want to get a moody pick right here, holding a rig. It's going to be fire. It's not as cool as it looked in the pictures, but our picture's going to be better than those anyways. We're at the next location and the next thing on the list for vloggers is some type of tripod. Here we have a travel tripod that I really love. It's lighter than two cans of soda, what they say on the marketing, but it's really convenient just to take anywhere and set up like this. Just like this, I got the travel tripod set up. It's really lightweight, got my camera on it, throw it on there real quick, and then I can get a shot like this, especially if I'm by myself and I have nobody to help me, or if I want the camera to film me while I'm doing something, or walking through the frame, or take a picture of myself. But a travel tripod like this isn't totally necessary. You could just do something just like this. This right here is the Manfrotto mini tripod. So I put the camera on here, and you can push this button, and you can move the camera to angle it any way you want with the ball head, and then you have these small little legs that you can open up and set down anywhere or you could just hold it and grip the camera and it just gives you a little bit more length when you're holding your camera out vlogging or if you want to set it down and get a time lapse or take a still photo or like I said walking through the frame it'll be down low but having one of these is really clutch for like gripping your camera and like I said getting b-roll of yourself I can set this down and film myself using this they also have the gorilla pod which is like ideal that's like the vlogger uh, tripod a lot of people use that I prefer this one because it's a little bit smaller and lighter and I just like this little push the button and move the ball head I just like this one and this travel tripod right here it's really lightweight and it's just convenient to bring along when you're doing something where you want to film yourself etc I really like this but tripods or mini tripods are really important for vloggers that's definitely one of those pieces of gear that you want to get if you're gonna be vlogging and this little mini tripod is so light that you could actually vlog like this if you wanted to I've tried it. It works. It's tight too. <laughs> you can hold it. I'm holding the little mini tripod. No, I mean, not the mini tripod, the travel tripod. But we're at the next location. We're about to take some more photos of Wasi for this micro content, IG content, whatever you want to call it. We're make, He's making a video too, so you can go watch the video that he makes from today and see the photos and behind the scenes on his vlog that I was shooting for him. But we got this little staircase over here and uh, you probably can't see it. Back over there with that green, we're gonna take some pictures over there with him shooting Polaroid or with a disposable camera. Also like this, this building right here behind me, see if you can see it. I'm sure you can see it right now. It's big, tall building behind me, it looks really cool. I don't know, let me go, I gotta hurry. I gotta shoot the photos on this camera. Yeah, I am. I got, we got this. I don't know how to use it, but it looks cool. We can get our own ones of these. Let's do it. Get the YC joints. He's about to make a vlog entry, and I'm gonna film him with my vlog, him vlogging, and then we all gonna vlog, and that's how the vlogs vlog. So it, it took me a little while to figure out. You know how on the other can Canon cameras, mm -hmm. if your fucking focus is over there, you just press the trash can button and it go back to the middle? That doesn't work on here. I just, it's a button right there. If you press that, it goes back. But I was sitting there trying to figure that shit out, like, what the fuck is happening? Even the OK button didn't work? Or select? Dang, I usually hit the select button on this one. Select? Wait, show me. Oh, it's not select, but set. Oh, yeah, it works. Hey! <laughs> vloggers! Exposed, as you can see, he has a mic with a screen where he can see. He has a wide angle lens that zooms in. He has a microphone on there, and he has his little mini tripod. Everything that we've talked about so far. Everything. I'm a professional vlogger. This ain't for no non pros. This is professional. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> 
Yes, sir, Tonto. <laughs> so those are the main things that you want to have as a vlogger. That was the best gear that you can have. Cameras, mics, the mini tripods, and the wide angle lens. But there's a few more things that you can add in just to make your vlogs better. One of which is music. Let's talk about the sponsor of this video. This video is sponsored by Soundstripe. Soundstripe is a subscription-based stock music library where YouTubers, filmmakers, and creators all can get high-quality music for their work. Offering a standard plan, a premium plan, a business plan, and sound effects only plan, they have a variety of options you can choose from. It starts as low as $11.25. On certain plans, you can access over 40,000 sound effects and tons of music, including sick curated playlists. With over 5 million licenses to date, you can start licensing music now by clicking the link in my description for 20% off any of their plans and become a part of the Soundstripe family. Get unlimited music for your creations today. So here's the location that we're gonna take some pictures at. It's got this cool stairway. We're gonna get some pictures straight on right here of him walking up the steps with the disposable. Probably like uh, this. This also looks cool right here. We'll see how this works out. All right, we just wrapped up and it's starting to rain again. It's raining harder than it's been raining at all, like all day. We got out here, we got some shots in the rain. I'm happy with the shots. You happy with the shots? I am very happy with the shots. The photos we took today were hard. I can't wait to edit them. Yeah, yeah, they look pretty cool, man. We got some cool stuff. Let me show you a few of the photos right here. It's just crazy. Oh, don't forget that man Frodo. Oh. That little guy behind it. Don't lose your shit if you get one of these. Don't lose it. <laughs> Cause they can, they're small. They fit anywhere. I'm holding this tripod in my hand, gripping this joint. Out here in the rain vlogging, man. My mic is gonna be wet. My little dead cat, wet. 1DX wet. He asked me why I still shoot with the 1DX. Go watch his video so you can see why I still shoot with it. It's waterproof. No, it's weatherproof. <laughs> yo, nice making content with you today, yo. Yeah, let's Thank do you. let's uh, do more, yo. Yes, tomorrow. Ah, yeah. let's go again. What's that? Why is coming with us? Nah, he's not. I did. He's just coming down here. Sorry. He's not, yo. All right, I am back home. Ah, today was a fun day, man. I'm glad that me and YC got to get out and do some vlogging. Even though it was raining, it was really dope. Those are my favorite days. If you know me, you know I like rainy days. Those are my favorite. Well, not rainy, but like cloudy, overcast. Etc. So those are a couple things that I think uh, good gear, the best gear, great gear to use for vloggers. I think everybody needs it. Uh, there's two more uh, bonus ones as well. If you want to get fancy, um, get you a drone so you can get some establishing shots just to make your vlogs a little bit better. And stabilizers if you can want to get a Ronin S or one of those Zion things. I forgot. I don't know the name of that. I think it's Zion. I don't know. I use a Ronin S from DJI. Yeah, I use that whenever I want to get some really smooth buttery B-roll to enter into my vlogs. Maybe over top of me talking or maybe I'm making a cinematic sequence for my vlogs. It depends what kind of vlog you're making, but those two extra bonus items can make your vlogs better. Just make them that much better. Yo, I had a blast today. Um, I hope this video helped you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed me and YC getting out there and doing some stuff together and you want us to do more, man, make sure you slap that like button for me. Drop me a comment if you have any questions or if you have something that you think is really valuable to a vlogger, drop that down below. Maybe an ND filter, I don't know. The main priority things are a camera with a screen, a swivel screen on it where you can see yourself. But if not, make it work. Use good autofocus or have good autofocus on that camera. Wide angle lens, um, some type of tripod, gorilla pod, a mic that gets some crispy audio and music is really important. And those two extra things, a drone and a stabilizer, they will definitely just up the quality, make it a better, fancier vlog. That's it, yo. Order my R6 today, and that comes in on Monday, and I'm super excited. I'm excited for that. But if you're new here, consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, maybe YC will be in it again. I don't know. Maybe it'll be tomorrow. I don't know. Definitely gonna be consistent, though. See you soon.